Well, good afternoon, pipe smokers. This is Grandpa Cavendish uh, coming at you once again from Huntington, New York. Enjoying a uh, bowl of tobacco in my living room today. Smoking my Moro Armellini. with some J.J. Fox, the banker's mixture. Hope everybody's doing well out there. Uh, kind of a nice day today in New York on Long Island where I live. It's uh, cold, very, very cold, but uh, there's no wind. It's mild in terms of the wind, and it's full sun. So, uh, just came back from a nice long walk, five and a half mile walk, which I do two or three times a week. So, got myself some nice fresh air, cleaned out the lungs. <laughs> And I just wanted to uh, check in with everyone, see how all you folks were doing. Haven't uh, made a video in a while. Uh, but uh, what prompted me to make the video today is a mini review of this particular tobacco that I'm smoking now. Which is quite delightful, actually. It's, it's a real nice blend. I picked this up on Sunday. Uh, while I was in uh, New York City in Manhattan, a good friend of mine uh, came up from Florida and uh, was kind enough to invite my son and I to uh, a Rangers hockey game uh, on Sunday night. So we met him up. Uh, we met him uh, along with his son uh, Sunday afternoon in Manhattan, pregame, and uh, made a trip over to uh, Nat Sherman, tobacconist. Which, uh, if, if you all are not familiar with, it's uh, kind of an old-time cigarette, cigar, pipe, tobacconist uh, on uh, 42nd Street and 5th Avenue in Manhattan. So, uh, we uh, picked ourselves up cigars, and uh, I happened to notice this tobacco, uh, which I... I was interested in because I had asked the uh, the gentleman at the counter uh, to make a recommendation for a cigar leaf blend. I had never had a cigar leaf blend before, so uh, he brought out a couple for me to take a peek at, and uh, this banker's mixture was one, and uh, Key Largo, uh, GL pieces Key Largo was the other. Uh, those were those were his thoughts, so I decided to go with the banker's blend. And uh, I'm enjoying it a lot. I have to say, it's a good blend. Give it another light here. You get a lot of smoke. <laughs> um, Supposedly, this has Cuban cigar leaf in it. I could definitely taste a lot of Kia. Uh, a bit of a sweetness is here from the Virginias. It's um, it's a very very finely. You can see that it's a very fine tobacco. Fine in texture, uh, which is which is kind of interesting. Most of the English style tobaccos that I've had of late have, have been fairly coarse. Um, this is much finer.
So it tends to burn well. Doesn't require too many relights. It's uh, very mild, I'd say, but you can definitely taste that cigar leaf in there. It's not strong. It's in the background, but uh, very nice taste. I'm enjoying this quite a bit. Uh, we were going to spend some time smoking those cigars, uh, and uh, and I, I had brought my pipe along too, so I was planning on smoking the pipe as well uh, in the shop at Nat Sherman's. But they were a little bit busy. There were quite a few customers in there, which is good to see because uh, tobacco shops in Manhattan uh, <laughs> just doesn't uh, doesn't go together too well. Uh, so uh, I was happy to see some uh, uh, you know a good crowd in there, which which was nice. So my buddy and our two sons. Took a uh, walk over to a place called the Carnegie Club, which was uh, up on 56th Street. And uh, we uh, enjoyed ourselves there. We smoked the uh, cigars. I smoked the pipe. And uh, we had ourselves a couple of beers uh, uh, to go with it. Uh, and then headed down to Madison Square Garden for the Ranger game. And uh, happy to say the Rangers won. <laughs> uh, they defeated the Blue Jackets. Uh, in that game, and it was the first time I had ever seen a shootout in a hockey game. I'm not that all familiar with hockey rules and regulations. I kind of know uh, a bit about it. Uh, it's a great sport. It's a lot of fun, but I don't know all the ins and outs of it, so I had never seen a shootout, so that was kind of a neat thing to watch because um, it was tied at the end of regulation time, 3-3, three to three. so then uh, they went for a five-minute uh, overtime period there, remained 3-3, three to three, so they, they went into the shootout, which the Rangers ultimately won. So <laughs> it was a great night. We enjoyed ourselves. Uh, and today is uh, my buddy's birthday. So uh, happy birthday, Keith. Thanks once again for a great time. Uh, Brian and I enjoyed it, and uh, I'm sure Connor and and yourself, of course, enjoyed it as well, being big hockey fans and being big Ranger fans. But we had ourselves a great afternoon uh, in Manhattan, smoking cigars and pipes and watching hockey. <laughs> so uh, thanks again for that opportunity, Keith. And uh, to my pipe friends out there, um, just want to recommend this tobacco. If you've not tried a cigar leaf blend before, and uh, I'm kind of guessing it's it's maybe not that common because uh, I, I had never tried one. Uh, this is a great one to try. Uh, upon the recommendation of the folks at uh, Nat Sherman, Key Largo is another choice. I have yet to try that one, so I can't uh, make an opinion on it. But uh, J.J. Fox Banker's Blend, pretty good if you're looking for a mild cigar leaf English style uh, blend. So... Uh, Hope everybody uh, continues to have uh, an enjoyable winter out there. Enjoy this cold weather <laughs> if you like it. And um, let's hope the sun uh, keeps going strong and we break into spring pretty soon. So uh, thanks again, everybody. Good to speak to you all. Good to see you all again. Um, enjoying all your videos, watching these videos. Uh, have a little free time here now. So I'm spending some time watching these videos and enjoying a lot of them. So. Uh, thanks again for the videos and uh, speak to you all again soon. Enjoy your day. Enjoy your pipes. Take care, everybody.